first of all, uh, for those of you who travel long distance, I really want to thank you very much, Scott. Thanks. We really appreciate you guys coming. Uh, I think at this point, I'm supposed to say a few embarrassing things. About <laughs> when she was younger, but unfortunately, she has been a perfect daughter. Oh, okay. Kaylin, you spelled perfect wrong here in my writing. Right <laughs> But she has more ammunition against me, so we kind of call it the truth. But I clearly remember September 15th, 1983. I was a nuclear propulsion plant in Saratoga, New York, when I got the call to jam with the plane. I was in a daze from that second until I was handed a beautiful baby girl. She was the princess of my own royal family. And I've never felt so unprepared for anything before or since. Fortunately, she's been a great daughter and allowed Jan and I to develop some parenting skills along the way, skills we would need and then some for her brother Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> but there have been many moments with your first child that were a special meaning. The first words, khaki, because that was the name of our cat. called everything khaki, so that was kind of a moment of things to come in the future and animals. Her first step, she actually ran away from me. I came back from deployment and stood there a little bit. A uh, heart wrenching moment in my life. <laughs> uh, her first date, luckily, I don't remember her, not to use her name. Her first time out drinking, fortunate enough to have someone like Scott to record <laughs> that <laughs> for all posterity. And but still, the sight of her, a hug and a kiss, will always stir my heart. And are just as precious and meaningful as her first. Suffice it to say that Jay and I are both very proud of how beautiful she looks today and how she's grown up. We're both delighted she has found someone who obviously loves and cares for her very much. My first exposure to Juan was when they started dating. Kaylin was telling me that there's this guy I'm starting to see, and he keeps saying, I'm going to marry you someday. <laughs> <laughs> I really like a man with ambition. <laughs> <laughs> I've found that Juan is reliable, sensible, considerate, generous, and incredibly hardworking. And he clearly loves Kaylin. Most importantly, he makes her happy. I think Kaylin has made an excellent choice, and I welcome Juan. Juan, to help you with your marriage, I thought I would give you some advice based on my 29 years experience married life. Marriage will teach you many things, loyalty, self-restraint, obedience. <laughs> I'm still in daily training on each of those. <laughs> but just remember, there are no challenges in marriage that can't be overcome by one of the following statements. I was wrong, and you were right. <laughs> Yes, dear. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, many say that marriage is when a man and a woman become as one. The trouble starts when they try to decide which one. So share the best that each brings to your marriage. Seriously, Kayla and Juan, your life together is just starting. It will take many turns along the way. You'll have your glory days and you'll have your sad days. However, you have each other will have all you need. Cling to each other, communicate with each other, and make each other number one in your lives. With these tools, you'll have a successful marriage. So we love you, we cherish you, 